What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you check out my post fight video I just did of the Guillermo Rigondeaux versus Charles Jazza Dickens fight that is up on the channel. Now, heading over to Rigondeaux's Twitter, he had a lot to say, and I want to talk about it. Rigondeaux tweeted, I came here and did what I said I was going to do. Still can fight another 12 rounds tomorrow just in case any fake champion won in. He goes on to say, I congratulate Charles Dickens. He did his best, but there are three fighters in this continent that all they done is run from me. I am waiting, referring to the UK. He says, they call me a runner, but it is them doing the running away from me. Hashtag cowards. Maybe Frank Warren can get Scott Quigg or Carl Frampton to fight me tomorrow before I go back home. I'm good to go. Obviously, Carl Frampton and Scott Quigg residing in the UK where he just fought Charles Dickens. And since I'm at it, let me get this off my chest. The reason Dan Rayfield fell asleep is because he is obese. Nothing to do with me being boring. So as you guys can see, what? <laughs> I, wow, I don't know who put this up. Wow, y'all are trolling on this internet. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Somebody put a gif up. Um, wow. Yeah, y'all, your fans try to ether him. But back to Rigondeaux. I don't know what Dan Rayfield said. I know he always posts negative stuff about rigging out in general espn's dan rayfield he blocked me on twitter i never had a conversation a day in my life with him so i don't know why so i don't know what he said i see him at the fights he never said nothing never had a conversation with him but for whatever reason he blocked me so i'm not sure what he said to provoke this type of response from rigging now but it is what it is you guys see it i'm just doing the reporting um i like i like the partnership with pedro diaz and rigging if you guys that know boxing, Pedro Diaz worked with Rigging Out in the past. He also worked with great people like Miguel Cotto. And I thought I thought he had Cotto looking good. I think I think he fought Mayweather under the guidance of Pedro Diaz. And he gave Mayweather a better fight than Pacquiao and gave May Floyd work for it. You know what I'm saying? Gave Mayweather a little bit of problems and a run for his money a little bit early. Bloodied his nose and stuff. So I, I really fuck with Pedro Diaz. He worked with Rigging Out in the past. I don't know why they split, but I'm glad they're back together. Pedro does a lot of training for the Cuban amateurs and, and just different people. So I like the partnership. He looks sharp versus Charles Dickens. He didn't really get into a rhythm because the fight was so short and they pulled the man out of there. They pulled this man out of there. So you can't really blame him for that. So bottom line is this. Rigondeaux is skilled and people don't want. He stays in shape year round. He smokes cigarettes and stays in shape and ready to fight. He has broken two people's jaw in recent memory that I can remember. He bro broke Amagasa, a tough-ass Japanese fighter from a higher division who dropped down to fight Rigondeaux. He broke his jaw. He broke um, this dude Charles Jazza Dickens' jaw today. And he had Nonito Donaire seeing doubles and backpedaling and covering his eye, moonwalking. Doom, doom, boom, doom, that she was more like Billy Jean and a music Jean. <laughs> so, I mean, there's nothing you guys could say. The reason people call him boring, it's code words. He is a skilled sharpshooter, and he's not playing no games. So, you guys could say he's boring. If you guys want him to throw... I thought that was Leo Santa Cruz at first. I was like, what the hell? But if you want him to throw more punches and things like that, bring a fight to him like you know what i mean make him work for it that's really what it is look at edis landi lada a guy who fights kind of similar because the cuban background kind of similar i think rigandau is more of an offensive monster like when when rigand laura this is just my personal opinion out of the cuban stars i think laura is a very skilled fighter but sometimes he lets off the gas where it just doesn't make sense like he has a dead man in front of him like a delvin rodriguez he's beating his ass and then he just doesn't close the show that's a little bit different because rigandau's tiny he's smaller than a lot of people so he still has to fight smart so he doesn't get knocked off balance because he did get knocked off balance by a couple people you know what i mean amagasa donaire he also the uh roberto Madikin. then he came got back up and started destroying him and that's a guy that beat, I believe, Adrian Broner and I think Gary Russell Jr. as an amateur. So you guys got to know your boxing. So Rigging is a little bit different because he's he's not surviving off of of like a, a, a fight size advantage. He's surviving because he is skilled. Donaire is way bigger. He looked way tinier than Donaire, right? 
but it's his skill. So that's what bothers me a little bit about Laura. I like Laura a lot, but um, sometimes he doesn't know when to turn it on and off. Like Vanus Monterosan was clearly trying to steal rounds in, in the last fight. I watched that fight live. I was sitting next to, to Virgil Hunter and Keisha Cole like three rows back. So I, I got a great view of it. And I seen what Vanus was trying to do. An Olympian, he was trying to um, steal the crowd and, and dig to the body and stuff like that. For me, Laura, he was just allowing that. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was pot shotting him and he was winning but i think he should have put on the gas a little bit more but rigandow he's fighting the fight that he needs to fight he's tiny he's these other guys they get gun shy that's bottom line and all these fans keep talking about he's boring nobody wants it with rigandow people keep talking about how golovkin is a feared man this dude is feared because i've heard people call out seriously call out and i haven't heard anyone triple g's side call their bluff like Gilberto Ramirez I it's not like I don't think he really wants to fight him now granted there are people that don't look like they want to fight Golovkin Ganelo and Billy Joe Saunders and Danny Jacobs even but I don't hear anybody calling Rick and Dow out and saying hey I legit want to fight you here's a legit offer where you're not being low balled it's um the network's gonna pick it up and stuff like that the man is dangerous he's deadly and it is what it is so you hear a bunch of code words he's boring People say that for a variety of different reasons. Some are probably racist. Some know that he'll beat the shit out of the fighter that they want to win or he will make them look bad. So they don't want that. So they just rather blackball him, tar and feather him. I mean, the man's working. He's a sniper. So to me, I'm happy that Rigan is being a little bit more boisterous, a little bit more outspoken than some of the other champions. Like you, you kind of got to do this sometimes when you're being avoided and Errol Spence Jr., he's, he's right around there. Right around that that um, that frame in the movie where he may have to start getting more vocal. I met Earl. He's a cool dude, very talented, very skilled. Takes his craft very seriously. But at the same time, it's boxing and it's entertainment. So some people aren't going to accept that. Some people are going to be like, "Oh, if you're not a showman, then who cares?" You know what I'm saying? So I think it's unfortunate that guys like Andre Ward and Errol Spence Jr. They can't just naturally just be skilled fighters and people just embrace it. What happens is people try to bash them and and run their name through the mud and, and not support them like they support other people, right? I've seen some of these skilled fighters that I'm mentioning do more damage to higher quality opposition and get no credit, like rigging out what he did to Donaire. Donaire was knocking out everybody in his path. If not, he was at least knocking them down, lumping up their face, or guys like omar Narvaez just completely was defensive and wasn't even trying to win the fight you know because I mean? you can't win just purely off of defense and that's when rigandau put a stop to that and he's clearly smaller donaire had the size advantage donaire has power speed has probably more pro level experience because rigandau only had like like 12 or 13 fights i want to say so it is what it is rigandau is a beast hopefully with the rock nation deal they keep um they get they're getting them fights and just fight who you can and things like that but the real true boxing fans know what it is they did the same thing with lotta they didn't a lot of people didn't want to see canelo fight him and then when the fight was made they gave canelo credit it's funny how that works you know what i mean when lotta called out canelo for probably a year two years before they actually fought some people don't you guys might have been in diapers or something i've been doing this and when lotta was calling out canelo all that time that whole duration then people didn't want to see it. They said, oh, Laura can't sell. And all the excuses from the Canelo fans and Team Canelo for why they're not looking at Laura, checking for him, they use them. And then all of a sudden, uh, Laura jumped on stage with him, embarrassed Canelo, and Canelo's like, fuck that, make the fight Oscar. And then the fight was made, and people are bragging, giving Canelo credit. Oh, look, he's, he's fighting a top 154 pounder. But that's what they do to all these fighters that they don't like, is they'll, they'll run their name in their mud like, like when Pacquiao uh, allegedly lost to Bradley, they shitted on Bradley. Like it's not his decision. He didn't make the decision, but they shitted on him as if he's a terrible fighter and he sucked and it was a robbery because he's garbage and wheelchair Bradley, feather fisted Bradley, all this stuff to make him seem like a horrible fighter. But then when Pacquiao beat him in the rematch, they say, oh, Pacquiao's the man because he beat an undefeated skilled Bradley. And then they talk Bradley up. I see it all the time. People were saying this Rigandau is boring type of shit. It's because they don't want him to face their fighter. The fighter that they like, the fighter they promote, the, the team, the side that they're on. And it is what it is. And 
if let's say let's say Leo Santa Cruz finally got the stones and fought Guillermo Rigondeaux and beat him some kind of way, which I, I put I I think it could be a good fight, but I don't think he would beat Rigondeaux personally. But let's say he did it, then all of a sudden Leo Santa Cruz will get credit for it. Like, oh, do you see what he did to Rigondeaux? He's the best. He put him on the pound for pound list. So it's funny how people try to devalue a fighter and run their name through the mud like they're not shit. Like Rigondeaux, oh, he's boring. He sucks. And I fell asleep and all this dumb shit. And nobody wants to fight him. And if somebody were to fight him, step up and finally fight him and beat him, then all of a sudden they would get all the praise and accolades for beating him. Because all along, you knew how good he was. That's the point. You knew that Rigonow was a problem. So all that boring shit, it doesn't, they want to have it both ways. Rigonow sucks. He's boring. He doesn't throw enough punches. I fell asleep. But if Donaire would have beat him, if anybody beats him, Leo Santa Cruz, Carl Frampton, Scott Quick, any of those guys beat him, then all of a sudden they'll get all the praise in the world for beating him. Because all along you knew how skilled of a fighter he was. You knew what he brought to the table. You knew he's a hard style for anybody to deal with in or around his weight division. And that's all I gotta say. Share the video, like the video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, Ego signing off. You don't feel it, then it must be too real to touch. I'm lying if I ain't correct.